Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. You know what they say, everything comes to those who wait. This arrived in the mail. Let's check it out. So, I was online again. I've seen this knife a couple of times from way back. And I thought, I, I would really like to see that knife, but it was outside my budget. Well, I waited patiently. And yep, they dropped the price. Barely into my budget limits. <laughs> Talking about this guy from CJRB. You know, artes artesian, artisan, and a subsidiary of them. And this one, say hello to Mary. Huh. So this knife I've been waiting for, like I said. And let me get this out of the package here for you. Here it is here. This guy here. Now, like I said, I've been looking at it for a while. It was outside my budget. I have a CJRB already that I looked at. I think it was the Field Spa. Very impressed with it. I thought they did a good job on this. But I really wanted to see this guy. And like I said, I wasn't willing to pay what they wanted for it. And finally, they dropped the price. So this is the rear from CJRB. And like I said, they are part of uh, artisan cutlery uh, from China. And they have their line, and then this line is separate, but they own it. And they would, you know, they decided to do that because they wanted to offer a, a more budget-friendly knife with the same qualities. And I saw this and I thought, you know, I, I really, I kind of like it. I do like the color on this for some reason. This is actually G10 and it's un, they call it uncolored. This apparently is the base color for G10. I kind of like it. It's different to all the other knives. The other knives always have a, a similar look to them. The handle shape, the blade shapes all look very similar for the different models. This one was totally different and it's the rear. Like I said, they dropped the price, so we get to have a look-see at it. Let's have a closer look at the specs. So like I said, you can you can see it here, and it is G10 handle, the, the scales on it. And it is a flipper. I wouldn't say assisted, but it's got those uh, ceramic ball bearings. And the only way to open it, allegedly, is with the thumb stud. Now, it does open pretty easy, which surprised me, because I thought that's the only option you have. And if you give it a good flick, it pops right out. And there you have it there. Interesting blade shape, drop point. I like that. I, I like a good drop point. On the blade, CJRB. On the other side, right there on the Ricasso, it says the model number and the steel. Now, this I found interesting. 12, 12 C27 which apparently is a proprietary steel that they make. And they say, you know, they made it because everybody wanted a better steel. You know, I know very little about steel. I just like knives. What can I say? One other thing they did do, you see this little indent here on the handle? I thought that was a nice touch because if you look at the liner lock, and yep, it is a liner lock, it, really nice. This knife is very clean, by the way. And that little notch really helps in releasing the liner. Your thumb goes right in there and you just press your nail on it and it releases it and you can close it one-handed, which I thought was pretty nice. It does open nice and clean. It did take me a little bit of practice. I had to try it three or four times before I got it down, but it works just fine. And, uh, you know, you release it one-handed, no problem there does have a pocket clip and if you look it's a deep pocket clip it's nice and long and it sits right at the top of the knife we'll check that out later i'm going to put it in my pocket and see how it sits fairly thin uh weight not bad i do like the feel of this g10 it's not smooth and it's not rough it's it's really right in between it's like a really really fine sandpaper which is a, a good feel and you know i I really like this knife. You look at it, it's very clean. It's 
a pretty looking knife that's very plain but well made it's there's no gaps anywhere the blade lines up right dead center another thing and i was looking at the specs and i saw it in there when i was looking in the knife and i was like what is that and let me show you this if you look in there can you see it this thing here it's got a hole in it okay and i touched it and it turns it spins and i thought what is that well <laughs> they call it a discreet lanyard hole and I thought, oh, that's going to get in the way of the blade and whatnot. And no, it doesn't because it's on the bottom side. It has nothing to do with the working side of the knife. And it's really out of the way of the blade. But I've got to say that overall, I like this knife. It locks in. And there is no movement whatsoever on this knife. Very nice. Interestingly enough, they say the CJRB product line was ambidextrous this is not that clip is only on one side my left hand how am i going to open it with my forefinger don't think so so th that was interesting i you know you know me <laughs> i read up look up check out everything before i spend my hard-earned pennies on it and i liked what they said kind of disappointing that it's not ambidextrous is it a big deal? I don't think so. I think most left-handed people are used to this, used to the fact that the manufacturers don't care enough about them. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. They care. Six and three quarter inches, open, tip to butt. Uh, the blade, it's three inches from the tip to the top of the handle. The working edge, uh, where it stops right here by the choil, two and three quarters. So not bad, nice thumb stud. Like I said, this is a very clean knife. I really like the look of this knife. The handle, very plain, look at that. You can't get any plainer than that. It's almost straight. Got a little dip in it here, slight dip to it. And I really like that idea. It really makes releasing the blade very easy and one-handed operation. Now, I did try opening it without using the thumb stud and you can give it a good flick and it pops open but it takes quite a flick to do it. The weight on this thing is 2.12 ounces. Not heavy at all. Reasonably thin, I really like that. The interesting thing that I found about it was the steel material. This is what they call it. Our proprietary 12C27 steel that perfectly blends edge retention, corrosion resistance, and ease of sharpening. It's proprietary, so they came up with that this kind of steel, patent pending, I would assume. Uh, what do I know about it? Nothing. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a steel person. I would have to, in fact, what I'll do is I'll maybe I'll send a message to Lacey Lace. She'll know about it. Um, or Lacey, if you're watching, tell me about this steel. <laughs> it's this stuff. How much did I pay for it? Well, interesting question on their website 29.97 discounted i got this on amazon 33.99 34 bucks like i said right on the bubble for me to spend on a, a folding knife i gotta say though i'm not unhappy about it i like this it's very clean pretty knife and uh, i really like the feel the shape how does the pocket clip look let's have a look see here uh, yeah, look at that. Very deep. Right there, nothing sticking out of the top of the clip. Nice. Not too heavy. Uh, can't really feel it in my pocket. Um, nice. That works. And like I said, you know, it's it's a liner lock. Uh, thumb, thumb stud to flip it open. Ceramic ball bearings. Becoming uh, pretty much a, an everything on a lot of the new knives. This is not new. Don't get me wrong. It's been around a while. I waited for it. But I like it. I think it's been worth the wait. Is it sharp? Hmm. Let's check it out. Data sheet here. Wow. Wow. That. I can 
curve it. I just need to hold the paper better. So I can whisk around with it. Uh, what else can we cut with it? Oh, I cut a lot of cardboard at work. And it seems to be pretty good. Can't complain about that. So, there you have it. CJRB rear. I like it. Nice and plain, single blade, almost uh, a sod buster. I would certainly put it in the modern sod buster family. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again. I'm waiting on another Rough Rider whoot, to go with my uh, faded blue denim jean series. Very excited. I've uh, been doing some work on modifying things and just generally playing around and having a good time. Summer's coming to an end. I was just outside this morning having a cup of coffee, answering your uh, comments, and notice the leaves are starting to fall. Ooh, yeah. If it's not snow, it's leaves. What can I say? Minnesota. You'll be safe out there. Especially with these sharp and shinies. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.